What is up guys, Zanif Tech is here, and I'm finally back with another review, but this time it's from the Anchor PowerWave Base Pad. This is a wireless charger that plugs directly into a USB outlet and provides your tree-enabled smartphone wireless charging. I have a couple of their products, and I'm glad that they sent this out to me to review because I was interested in it regardless if they were going to send it or not. It's a pretty cool device, and it comes in this interesting packaging. It's a box that shows you know, that it offers fast charging, the 18 month warranty that it offers, and also some various other things on there. Nothing that special, but let's get inside the box. Inside the box, you do get a couple of manuals, the actual pad, and the USB cable that you plug into an outlet, power bank, or anything of your choice to charge up the cheap pad. Here you do have an FCC booklet, not that information is very important, but it's there. They also give you a little happy guide so you can contact them if you're not happy with their service or their actual product. And then there's also a quick start guide that shows you how to set it up and what to plug it into so that you get the fastest charging possible with your Qi enabled smartphone. Pretty cool that they have all these figures in the booklet and I really like how it shows that it doesn't work with magnetic mounts and stuff like that. It's very useful to the normal consumer. Here's a USB cable. As you can see, it's a regular micro USB cable to regular USB. It is not USB-C, so don't expect that as well. The charger does come in this little plastic wrapping. It's pretty cool, keeps it safe. And once you open it, you will see uh, the device is pretty slim compared to other fast chargers and also other wireless chargers as well. I really like the form factor because it looks kind of like a smartphone. And when you put your smartphone on there, you can actually save space because it's the same size as the actual phone. That is pretty cool and I really like how they designed that. Here you can see it up close. That is a micro USB port on the top. It has these little notches on the left and the right. I'm guessing that's just for design that they don't really do anything. But overall it looks pretty cool. The bottom of the pad has these rubberized feet that go from all across the bottom of the device and it really keeps the device in place instead of it moving around. I've always had problems with wireless charging pads because when I move the pad, my phone usually moves around too and it never gets charged in the morning, which is a big bummer. The bottom of the device does have this nice power light that lights blue and it lets you know that it's charging the device. It also lights up when the device turns on as well, which is a cool plus because it's on the front of the device and not on the top. When you place it on the top, you can see that my iPhone 11 Pro Max fits perfect on the actual pad. It's about the same width as the phone, but my phone is a bit larger. So if you had an iPhone 11 or other iPhone that's smaller or a smaller Android phone, then it would be a perfect size for your phone. I really like that it doesn't take up any more space than it needs to because other wireless charging pads are in a circle. So they always take up more space and kind of look tacky when the phone's on there. So I do prefer this design over other wireless charging pads for that reason. I do own a couple of their products including a power bank and also a USB power brick, which is USB-C. You can buy a regular USB-A one and plug it into your PowerWave base pad. That way you get fast charging up to 10 watts on specific Android devices and 7.5 watts to iPhones. One other cool feature that I did notice is everything works together. So it doesn't matter if you're using the actual brick or a power bank, then they work together. So when you plug into your power bank while it's charged, you can plug up the power pad and then you can actually use it with the power bank. So if you don't have an outlet next to you or you're at the airport or whatever circumstance it is where you want to use a wireless charging pad, then you can plug it directly into the power bank and it lights up and it charges your phone as well. It's a pretty cool feature that everything works together and I do prefer that when traveling so you can use your power bank and not look for an actual outlet. You can put the phone in any orientation, as you can see, kind of sideways, completely perpendicular to the pad, and it still charges. That is really cool because sometimes, you know, you don't want to place it specifically the same way the pad is, and it works. That's a major key. Here you can see the blue light that I was talking about. It's not very bright, and it's not red or green or like some other pads that really piss you off at night when it's glaring in your eyes. I really enjoy that. Here's a USB-C anchor power brick that I was talking about. It's 60 watts and offers power delivery as well. And then also have the power delivery power bank. Like I said before, if you get a non-USB-C version with the regular USB, then you're able to use the fast charging. 
If you use one other brick that it's not fast charging capable, then you won't get the full 10 watts that you would expect. Here you can see when I plug into the power bank, I push the power button on the power bank first and it charges the phone. Pretty cool feature. Yes, you could directly plug it in the phone to the power bank, but if you want wireless charging, like I said before, then this is an option as well. I really wanna thank Anchor for sending this out to me for review, and I really appreciate their business. If you enjoyed my review of this Anchor Power Pad or any of my other reviews and unboxings on this channel, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. Zenith Tech is out.